I was lucky enough to be offered a six month extension, so a permanent role um, after my apprenticeship. Um, it was a higher pay grade as well, so um, I was thankful for my team to give me that support and confidence to apply for the role. I be, was able to gain new skills and be able to match myself to the new role that was offered um, and that was only because I was doing an apprenticeship at the council. big one I'd say I developed was my communication skills. Um, I believe with the tasks that was given to me was, for example, conducting meetings, um, writing reports and then leading those reports back to my manager. It was always constant communication between our team. So at drop-in sessions also, for example, um, communicating with young people that come and see us, um, adapting to how they communicate. So I was learning different ways to communicate with them. Um, I'd say confidence as well was a big one. Um, when I joined the council first, I was quite a shy lad. I didn't really like speaking to new people. I liked my comfort zone, but being in an apprenticeship um, and my manager putting me in situations where I'd have to come out of my comfort zone um, it enabled me to gain a lot of confidence. Um, and I'd say another one is just self-motivated. Um, there was a lot of tasks I had to do on my own um, and really just be, be making sure I complete those tasks on time um, and then also relating it back to my manager, letting her know. I feel like I've learned so much from when I started to where I am now. Apprenticeships allows you to make mistakes, but you can learn from them and then just improve. I believe I can take these skills now that I've gained during my apprenticeship elsewhere if I need to. Um, but luckily enough, I'm still at the council and I just feel like you can continue to grow um, whilst being an apprenticeship at the Wolverhampton City Council.